Now we can have some fun with these. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com and in this video we're going to unbox and build the new Deathfields female cannon fodder set here which is 24 miniatures for $35. It's like a buck fifty a miniature. You've heard me say it before and I'll say it again. It's basically free in GW money. And you can definitely use these things for games like Warhammer or any other tabletop game out there. I mean, because for the cost, I don't see why not. It's almost cheaper than 3D printing. I know everybody's going to jump on my case and be like, it's not cheaper than 3D printing, but dog, it's ready to go. All you got to do is clip it out and put it together. No no extra times, no extra supports. Yes, I know stuff can come pre-supported, but <sighs> it's a hobby inside the hobby. I think we can all agree on that. Regardless, this set, uh, you can actually get them for even cheaper. And let's talk about that here in a minute. So jumping over to wargamesatlantic.com, which by the way, they sent these to me for review. Thank you very much, y'all. Uh, I, I enjoy their miniatures. Been showcasing it to you here for a few years now and uh, can't wait to get my hands on uh, some more of their stuff the next run. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a scratchy, scratchy month or so. Either way, uh, so there's deals, uh, free shipping over $50, which is solid here in the States. And then you've got multi-part deals down here for buying multiple boxes. Uh, but what I like most about this kit, and kind of like the other can of fodder kit too, is you can do different builds on them. Like, let's see if we can get in here. Uh, I can't click on this image. So you've got your standard kind of regimental look to them here, like uh, Starship Troopers or like Aliens, whatever you want to. Uh, you know, colonial marines and stuff. And then you've got the ragtag kind of uh, prisoner look right here, which are really interesting if you give them all the shaved heads. And then they have like some other looks to them with like gas masks and things. You can really kind of crack out and make a bunch of different looks uh, for them. Or you can get a box of each, the male and females, and kind of mix and match them, because that makes sense, right? Like if they're, if they're cannon fodder and they're basically penal legion or whatever you want them to be, you know, you, there might be a mix if you want to use them for Imperial Guard or you want to use them for some, some other game on the tabletop, like One Page Rules or something, then I could see where you'd want a different mix. So there's actually basically three different ways you can build these, and here's two of them, and then we already showed you the uh, the kind of re more regimental feel right here to these models. And if that isn't enough variety for you, they actually have an upgrade sprue that for I think six dollars that you can pick up and it's going to have some different options and things on it and some different looks um that you can really kind of crack out to and it makes oh I didn't realize there was that big scope on one of these that's really cool too so let's um let's pull these out of the box take a look and get some built up the different uh, varieties and kind of compare them to some other miniatures out there that you might be more familiar with scale and detail wise once you get this open, there's going to be a bunch of identical sprues in here. And just to kind of zoom in and take a look at the one with a little bit more uh, of that detail, there's a lot of cool accessories in here that I probably aren't going to put together. You've got this grapple hook or repelling hook. You've got this rope here, or I guess repelling rope and grapple hook, forgive me. And tons of heads here, tons and tons of heads. Now, some of these are compatible with Games Workshop, some of them are not. Some of them are compatible with uh, things like bolt action, some of them are not. Right? And some of the arms are compatible, and we showed you with the, the Bulldog miniatures, which we have right here, uh, still in the studio. The heads were compatible with things like bolt action, but not a whole lot of other stuff on there. So, it's not 100% compatible with everybody's stuff, but if you're, you know, really into bits bashing and, and converting and things, you'll find a use for it, I'm sure. In here, there's all sorts of packs. Uh, all sorts of secondary weapons and you know one per things but you also have your normal uh, rifles as well plenty of those and then I guess you got the one bigger rifle that had that super scope on it which I don't see the bit right now looking at this um, not sure where that's at but I'm sure it's in here because it was on their site I'm just not seeing it. Oh, there it is. There's a the scope right there. So kind of crazy. That there's that much packed into the sprue that you don't even notice everything at first glance. Now, we'll get some of those built up here in a second. But I did want to mention that upgrade sprue, which I've been meaning to mention quite a few times. It's got some bayonets on it. It's got some um, more of a carbine style um, rifles here and some other like, I guess those are, well, those are more of a carbine, I suppose. Um, this is more of like a bolt style. We've got some larger stuff here and some handheld sort of things. And these are really cool kind of uh, Deathcore of Krieg-esque 
masks as well. So lots of different in some bionics, uh, bionic arms and things here too. So if you're looking for some variety, like I said, it's definitely available from War Games Atlantic. Now, I didn't realize until I got in here and started looking at these that there is four different types of models you can actually build in this kit, which is wild for all the different heads. So you've got, you know, the gas mask, the full PPE face covering, which is just basically the same torsos and things, but that's a, definitely a look uh, that you can go for. Like you've got the sergeant uh, with the pistol and just like hands basically, uh, rifles, and then you've got the special weapon and it, it, all, it all flows, it all works just fine. And then this is kind of how they compare it to you. Well, all I have is a Death Corpsman from Forge World. The, the new ones are a little bit bigger just to give you an idea, but uh, on, on the scale there. So these are cool. If you want to go with like some Penal Legions or some like, I don't know, environmental sort of things. Uh, and then on the Penal Legion side, I also didn't realize, well, <laughs> this is pretty cool. So the grapple hook, actually the repelling rope connects to the grapple hook. Pretty neat little little combo there. wasn't wasn't aware of. So that's that's really cool to see. And then you've got, of course, uh, the sergeant style uh, lady here. And then you've even got like random convict with there. There's also bionic arms on there and uh, a little shiv. Because why not? If you don't have a gun, well, you always you always have a shiv, I suppose. And then there's the traditional kind of um, I guess infantry kind of look with the. I don't know what style helmet that is, but it reminds me of like Colonial Marines or like Aliens, maybe something you even saw in Vietnam or something. And the you know the the rifles are on point. Not a super fan of the uh, the kneeling legs right there, definitely not. And then there's uh, this one here. I think she's got ponytails. Yeah, she's got ponytails. So pretty wild stuff that she can do so much variety. But wait, there's more. And then you've got these uh, these capped miniatures, and I'm sure there's a term for that, but I'm not. It kind of reminds me of a. The French Foreign Legions, maybe? maybe? Maybe I'm off the mark there. Either way, uh, that's what it reminds me of. So you've got that. So there's a couple of those, and she fell off her base. So I have to forgive my lack of professionalism there. And then the, here's the, uh, the kneeling legs. Again, not a super fan of them, but they work. You know, if you want to switch it up and things, and you've got the, the packs on all of them. And that is the four different styles, which, you, of course, you can definitely mix and match. Uh, with the extra accessory sprue if you're looking to do something a little different uh, But either way, I mean 24 models for 35 bucks. I mean dude, that's just That's just the uh, the Express train to value town right there, and then this is how they compare up I don't have the cannon fodder for uh, The male ones, but this is the British Bulldogs that we showed you recently, too So they're gonna stand a little bit taller uh, than them and then these guys right here just a smidge about the same Except for the dudes that are walking and kind of kneeled over. So there's there's the uh, Red Devil kind of beret style uh, versions of them too. So very, very cool stuff. And they all, they all work together on the same scale. And I guess I do need to mention that they don't come with bases. So that is the one, I guess, detraction to this whole thing is you're going to have to get your own bases. I had a bunch of 25 millimeter bases laying around already, but you can get MDF ones, you know, pre-cut ones pre-burned ones and things like that. So that's the only thing you just have to be aware of. You're gonna need 24 bases. I don't feel like that's a huge reach for the, for the price right there. So that's it for this one. The new War Games Atlantic uh, female cannon fodder miniatures. Mix and match with the male ones. Play them separately. Do them up any one of those four styles. I definitely think uh, you'll be happy with whatever you're trying to do. And there's another look at them all painted up with the different uh, versions you can do there. But either way, check it out, wargamesatlantic.com. Um, and don't forget, you can always get your hobbies for less at uh, Dicehead, uh, Amazon, or hopefully your local game store as well. But before you do all that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our future videos. If you liked that video feature, consider supporting us over at Patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here as well as some of the top 3D artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing. Plus, discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers. They're yours to keep whether you cancel or stay on. Just It's totally up to you. Obviously, we want to keep you as happy as possible. So check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spikybits.